Hi guys, welcome back to my newest video. Thank you for clicking on it. So, um, I never made an update last week, so this will be my 16 and 17 week bump date. So, there's a lot, kind of a lot to update you guys on since it's been a full two weeks. Lots of movement, especially when I lay down at nighttime in bed. Feel a lot of flutters. Constantly can't feel it from the outside yet, but definitely it's definitely the baby moving so um Heartburn has been heartburn has been very bad Almost everything I eat gives me heartburn indigestion. I try to watch what I eat and by drinking a lot of milk and stuff, but baby wants what the baby wants so I tend to eat kind of what I'm craving instead of what I should be eating. I've been very emotional lately. It's just a lot going on in my life. It's hard. Like it's it's just hard to deal with. I like I know everything's going to work out, but it's just a lot. It's stressful, you know. It's life. What can you do? My boobs feel very big. Like they've definitely grown couple sizes I would say and I was noticing one night when I was laying in bed that I'm I actually have some colostrum coming out of them which is very odd because with my son I didn't have that at all um I didn't have that until like after I gave birth I've heard of people having it around like the 15 16 week mark definitely if I like squeeze it some like drops come out very weird that's probably, I'm thinking maybe does that have anything to do with why my boobs feel so big? I don't know. I did get also, one of my friends gave me um, a fetal Doppler. It's the, it's the brand I think is Summer. Uh, I think you get it like $20 at Walmart or Target. It's like one of the cheaper ones. I've heard more negative reviews of that brand than I've heard positive. So if any of you guys did use that in the past, I would like to know if it worked for you. And what was like the earliest you heard the heartbeat on it. I actually just went and grabbed it. It was over there. Um, so this is it. It's summer. It's a summertime one. It says right there. And you can see it's just, um, you put like headphones in on it and then you plug it in. It's very weird. But I can't, I can't hear anything. I don't know if I'm doing it wrong. I don't know if I'm being patient enough. I don't know. So any feedback on that would be awesome. The last two weeks, um, I feel like I've said it before. It's never too early to start nesting. I've been cleaning my house inside and outside almost every day. I want it spotless. I just want everything clean. Like, all the time. <laughs> Anybody who knows me knows I love getting rid of things. I'm a very basic person. I'm a very minimalistic person as well. I don't like clutter. I don't like hoarding things. I don't like... every play. Everything has a place. But I just don't like clutter in my house. So I've definitely been noticing I'm, I'm just I feel like I'm just getting ready for baby um, me and my husband we did actually order an armoire I will show you guys a picture of it we ordered it about two weeks ago and it's actually going to be delivered tomorrow super excited so next Thursday we actually have our anatomy scan ultrasound so we will be finding out what we are having so I am so freaking excited it cannot come soon enough I feel like time is dragging and I just cannot wait I want a girl but if it's a boy I just want a healthy baby I want them to tell me everything looks okay everything looks normal so but I am so excited I cannot wait I'm the dresser will be here so after that is when I can really start shopping <laughs> or like I said if it's a boy I can start bringing all of his baby clothes in if it's a girl I can start shopping but I haven't done any shopping clothes wise or anything until I know what I'm having but once I have that dresser it's like one of the big pieces that I did buy 
because like my son's room is very tiny so he has like the three drawers and he has the whole closet for himself so the new baby's gonna need their own thing so the armoire you'll see in the picture it's awesome i love it i can't wait to get it another thing is i have been going to the dentist a lot I feel like I've had an appointment almost every week. I'm very prone to cavities. I always have been my whole life. And I thought I was up to date, but within like maybe the last three days, I've been having tooth pain on like my bottom right here. So I do have an appointment on Wednesday. Hopefully that will be my last cavity I need filled. And then I get I have a cleaning scheduled in like two weeks, and then I'm completely done with that. I'm all caught up. Today I did have my son Giovanni's kindergarten graduation it was so cute I'm so proud of him I can't believe my baby is graduating kindergarten and he's starting first grade in September and it's just crazy how time flies and it's like bittersweet like I love watching him grow but I'm just he's he will always be my baby, but he's just growing up so quick and so fast. And I feel like we just went to orientation for kindergarten. And now he's graduating and he can read and he can write. And it's just crazy just how time flies. So I am 17 weeks. I feel like it's taken forever to get here. Next week when I do get my ultrasound, I'll be 18 weeks and 5 days. So, time's definitely speeding up. I know the beginning of your pregnancy is, like, the longest because it is for me anyway just because of the anticipation of finding out what I'm having. That takes forever. My belly, I definitely feel like it's kind of popped a little bit. I've had a couple people tell me, oh, my God, are you pregnant? And I get happy because I'm, like, excited that I look pregnant because I just feel very, like fat lately instead of being pregnant so it is kind of exciting that it is starting to look like a baby bump i'm kind of curious when i go to the doctor to know how much i've gained as far as i've known since the beginning of my pregnancy i've only gained about four pounds so i am very curious on what i've gained within the last month or so so that i will find out as well and um like I said, the sculpture time we're getting is going to be an anatomy scan. They do the measurements and they just make sure all everything looks fine. I know I do have my 18-week doctor's appointment. So that's right after my ultrasound. Another thing that I haven't been talking about a whole lot is what foods I've been craving throughout this pregnancy. So definitely within the last couple weeks or a month, or even two months, I've been craving a pasta, still Italian food, Sicilian pizza. I eat it all the time. It gives me severe heartburn, but it's so good. I got it. I have a pizza place right next to my job, so I'm eating Sicilian pizza every break I get. I have cut back on the soda because that isn't really doing anything it's gonna make me gain more unnecessary weight and it's giving me more indigestion that I don't need newest thing is chips ahoy cookies dunked in milk I eat it almost every day as a snack either that or ice cream so I'm actually out of milk right now so it's driving me nuts because before bed I want to eat some cookies so I can't I guess I'll just show you guys my belly now This week, the baby is about four and a half to five inches big or long. So, it's definitely a de decent size. It does take up some space now. I am going to start updating on Mondays. The only reason I didn't update last week is because I kept getting so far behind schedule that by the time I uploaded my 16 weeks, it was like two days shy of 17 weeks. So, I figured, let me just get back on track get it all done on Monday and then I'll be all set to go for next week. We'll update you guys again at my 18 week on Monday and then a couple days from then we'll know what we're having. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment down below and 
I will talk to you guys all again next week. Bye, guys. <laughs>